All right, hello kids and welcome to our second English class in a video. But first, we're gonna pause this video and we're gonna go and listen to our song for the day. All right, so now's the time to pause the video, listen to the song, and then let's get back to our class. All right, so now that we sang our song, we're gonna start our new chapter. But before we go to the book, the title of our chapter is chapter number seven, My Community, right there. And I want to ask you, have you heard the word community before? Sounds very similar to one Spanish word. Can you think about it? Yep, comunidad. So community is comunidad. So the title of our chapter is My Community, Mi Comunidad. And when you think about the word community, do we mean, maybe, can we mean, can we talk about the people in our community? Yes. Uh, can the word community also refer to where we live and how it looks? Yeah, for example, I live in a community in the town of Toalta. Maybe you live in another town in Puerto Rico, and that's your community. And all communities are composed of different people, different families, so they're all different. Now, this chapter begins with a story about... Um, it's a very inspirational story about a community and how they get together in order to achieve something. Which, thinking about it, it's very similar to what we're going through right now. All our communities are, well, we're practicing social distancing. But if you think about it, we are together doing one thing, which is staying at home so that we can all be well and safe and um, not sick. So let's see what this community does, all right, to um, achieve something together. All right, now join me on page 184 of your textbook. Again, remember this is a video. You can pause, find your book, find the page, and then hit play again page 184 of your textbook. All right, so if you're with me on page 184 of your textbook, we're gonna be reading our story for this chapter, which is titled, The Show Must Go On, which is a very famous saying in the business of movies and theater. All right, and it's a saying that means like, if something happens it's a it's a it's a very known expression in the business of movies and theater like if something happens well the show must go on and show debe continuar all right now let me see if i can show you well you have your books with you but i want to show you We're going to start reading the story by Betsy Teco, and it's illustrated by Facundo Tello. All right, now remember to follow the reading with me, okay? All right, if you're ready, let's begin. Follow the reading with me. It says, Sonia lives in Old San Juan, Puerto Rico. The town is centuries old. There is an old train station, an old boat dock, and many old buildings in town. Sonia loves the history that she can see just from walking down the street, right? When you go to Old San Juan, isn't it pretty, all those old um, buildings? Let's continue. Sonia loves the Colonial Theater on Bridge Street. She is sad because the owner is closing it. Her mother told her, it's an old theater and needs a lot of repairs. The owner doesn't have enough money to fix it. So he has to sell it. So unfortunately, we're gonna pause here. Unfortunately, many buildings, as you can see in the, in the previous picture, maintaining a business like a theater, it costs money. So if you don't have enough money or you don't administer the right place, this can happen. See, it looks old and like it needs to be repaired. Would you like to go in that theater? No, because it, it looks like it's not being cared for properly. Let's continue reading. Let's see on page 
186. It says, Sonia is walking to the library with her mother when they pass the theater. There is a sign on its doors that reads, Save me! What does that mean? Sonia asks. It will be torn down if no one fixes it. But the theater is so beautiful, says Sonia, and it's fun to go to the movies there. What can we do? asks her mother. Sonia thinks and thinks. Hmm, maybe we can find a way to save the theater. There must be something we can do. Sonia goes to the library. She looks up information about the Colonial Theater. It was built in 1903. Famous people performed on its stage. A very famous magician named the Great Houdini performed there in 1917. In 1958, the theater appeared in a scary movie called The Blob. What a history, thinks Sonia. And let me tell you, that's a real movie, The Blob. It's an actual movie. Um, it's about this huge giant, like a slime thing that uh, goes to live and starts like blubbing all over town and like swallowing people but it's a real movie all right uh let's continue with the reading page 188 then sonia and her mother decide to go to the town hall the town hall is la casa alcaldía donde trabaja el alcalde the mayor works there they think the mayor can help them save the theater right we want to save the theater, Sonia tells him. So do we, the mayor replies. But the theater needs a lot of repairs. The owner doesn't have the money, so he is going to sell it. Then what is going to happen? Asks Sonia. She really wants to help, right? The mayor frowns. Hmm. The theater will be torn down and a new building will be built in its place. We can't let that happen, Sonia cries out. People need to show they care about the theater, says the mayor. If the community believes it is important, it can be saved. Sonia gets to work. She asks her friends and neighbors to help. Then they make signs. The signs read, the show must go on. Like you can see here on page 189. Let's see what happens. Do you think they save the theater or not? Let's see. Oh, look. Even a police officer. Everybody's pitching in to help Sonia. The whole community is even trying to help the theater. Look. See how they they gathered in the in front of the theater? with their signs trying to save the colonial, the theater. Let's see what happens. And listen, let me tell you something before we continue. They're not fighting. They're doing it peacefully. Like Nelson Mandela in Spanish class, remember? They're doing it peacefully. Listen, let's continue reading page 192. A news reporter comes by. What's going on here? She asks. Sonia runs over 